Hello mga kasubs and welcome to the Starsicle TV. You have me Mark and for tonight. Tonight is a uh, <laughs> Sunday. And what we have is a recommendation from J.H. Le Legende. Or Legende. He uh, recommends, he or she recommends, uh, Johnny Holiday. Uh, translating this uh, title... It, it means something from Tennessee at uh, live at Princess Park. So um, before we give it a go, just a quick thank you to all our viewers, subscribers, members, and sponsors. Maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na support sa ating channel. Huwag sana kayo magsawa. And sana yung blessings na sinishare nyo uh, magbalik din sa inyo tenfold. Yan. And without any uh, further delays, let us give this song a go in three, two. One. En hommage à Michel Berger. On a tous quelque chose en nous de Tennessee. Cette volonté de prolonger la nuit Ce désir fou de vivre une autre vie Ce rêve en nous avec ses mots à lui Quelque chose de Tennessee Cette force qui le pousse vers l'infini Il y a peu d'amour avec tellement d'envie Si peu d'amour avec tellement de bruit Quelque chose en nous de Tennessee Ainsi vivait Tennessee Le cœur en fièvre et le corps démoli Avec cette formidable envie de vie ce rêve en nous, c'était son cri à lui Quelque chose de Tennessee Comme une étoile qui s'éteint dans la nuit À l'heure d'autres s'aime à la folie sans un éclat de voix et sans un bruit Sans un seul amour, sans un seul ami Ainsi disparu Tennessee À certaines heures de la nuit dans le cœur de la ville s'est endormi Il flotte un sentiment comme une envie Oh, ce rêve en nous avec ses mots à lui Quelque chose de Tennessee
and that is the end of the song very nice it's it's like a easy uh easy rock uh if there's such a genre you know it's like very light song to listen to and but still has those rock elements um present so um well first thing uh you would notice you know the very nice guitar uh, part you know the intro part where there's those nice plucking and that sound coming from a uh you know a guitar with a uh, what we call a chorus effect you know that watery feel so base so the title uh, so if i'm to guess uh, you know uh this was written by uh Johnny himself, and this may be something from his uh, experience because I know that he is fond of motorcycles. Uh, he's fond of that lo long distance travel, and maybe this is one of his um, destinations. You know, when he, when he uh, he did this nice long ride, maybe it's one of his stopover or his main destination, and he had nothing but good memories there, and thus he made a song about um, Tennessee. Let me know in the comments because you know I, I'm just uh just vibing from the song so uh, it's not something i really know and and for, for your for the information of those who are watching you know it's not factual until someone confirms you know it's it's just my a uh, like a hunch of mine uh on how this song came to be i also like the balance of the the instruments there so there were several instruments guitar drums you know just the 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 full full band set up with the uh, keyboards nice effects as well it has that uh you know that 80s montage ish song you know songs that can be used for montage this is one of those songs very cool sound and well balanced in terms of you know everyone every every instrument can be heard clearly if you uh if you want to focus listening on a particular instrument without making any changes on the uh on the dial so uh, one of my favorite parts of the song was before the chorus uh, before the lead part so um johnny sang the the chorus part da -da 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 Tennessee. but it was like just i think it was just him and the drums or it was just him and that was like his uh it's like some sort of a um what do you call that a climactic part of the song where he he uh he was engaging with the audience and you can feel that the audience were were uh were singing along uh i like the how the lead part uh, so this was followed by the lead guitars and i like the way it played out because um somewhere around three minutes 30 the video was around four minutes and a half he played the lead part of the song and as well and it also extended up to the outro so it was a continuous lead part even when uh johnny was already singing so nicely done because it's like uh because of its easy listening feel you know putting that some lead part there as well just adds uh, some flavor as well to the song it makes it sound uh just sound deliciously good if i make sense so uh, basically that is my reaction let me know what you think Leave it in the comments. If you haven't done it yet, these are the stuff you can do to show loving to the channel. Please do as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the Sarsicles TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.